leaderboard. Can you see it? Yeah. It's kind of weird how I went from capital letters <laughs> to not. Oh, no, it's fine. Uh, let's see if this actually sends out to everybody today. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. Hello. Hey. I see y'all rolling in. What's good? The chat's not going yet. If the comments don't work today, I'm gonna go off. I will snap. <laughs> Hi. What mocha you wanna play? Mocha boys. Hey, what's one sec, friends? Ready? Woo. Mocha has like this octopus toy. Um, he's had it since he was a baby and he's obsessed with it. Almost as much as he's obsessed with the sandwich. He has like this big Oreo. <laughs> it's like ice cream sandwich thing that he's obsessed with. Um, which he's also had since he was a baby, but it's cute because he he always brings it to me and just stares at me until I play with it. <laughs> hey, thank you so much. Yeah, my quarantine's going well. Chloe, how is this yours? Does, 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 does. If y'all are just getting here, what's up? I'm Dion, if you're new here. If you're not, what's good, taters? Uh, this is the leaderboard if you want your name up here. to be one of the top three taters of the day. Um, I'll start writing that down in a second. But hi! Adeline, Jamie, Isaiah, what's up? What's up, evil sister? What's up, everyone? Look, I'm wearing my playlist merch. They gave these to us for free because we like were guests, right? But um, yeah, it was the tenth year, and they definitely like they made sure we knew it was the tenth year. It was really fun. I wish you all could have gone if you didn't. And the best thing was it was like playlist happened right before any of this quarantine stuff happened, which is really good. I need to get a, like some oil in the stool. <laughs> it is so creepy. Oh, Batty, what's up? Yes, thank you, Isaiah. What's good? Thank you, Batty. Thank you, Madeline. Love you all. Okay, wait. Batty, how are you doing? You're the number one fan right now. The number one tater is... Oh, wait. Mallory! Hey, how are you? Mallory, did you just snatch the crown? Oh, wait, what? Yeah, okay. Sorry, my thing wasn't loading. Mallory, I'm so sorry. How are you doing? I hope quarantine slash you know, pandemic life isn't treating you too badly. I hope you are all staying safe. And yeah, let's just have a good time. You know, not worry about the problems of the world. <laughs> Mocha, stop barking at me. I always play with you. K25, oh, I should just put one sec. <laughs> Karina, thank you so much. I hope you're doing well. What's good? Hey, Tater's living it. Okay, what, Jaden? Thank you so much, Mallory. Eh. Oh, wait, we got to the dance, honey. Eh. 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 I can't do it. <laughs> oh, I'm so mad at that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, Yeah, I feel you with the 3 a.m. moment, Sebastian. I literally... Hold up. Hold up. Okay. I just ruined your beautiful name. <laughs> yeah, so I was up at 3 a.m. last night doing homework. I tried to go to bed at, like... 1 a.m. and I couldn't sleep. I don't know if it's because like I read too much Twitter news, <laughs> but I couldn't sleep, so I ended up. Um, thank you so much, Haley. I ended up just uh, doing homework, <laughs> which was wild because I was like at 3 a.m. But I read it over this morning. And it was great. You're so stupid. <laughs> you're so stupid. <laughs> uh, ooh, what flavor? Cheesy cakey mocha. If you're not gonna play with me, don't bark at me. He's like. Ah! And then I go to grab him and he runs away. Classic attention seeker. <laughs> oh my God, don't you all love the leaderboard today? I feel like I made it look so pretty. I don't know. I like how the numbers are like huge. It's cute. It's like a snowman. Mallory, thank you. If you want to be my lover, you got to be Mallory. <laughs> um, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm starting to plan like the whole stuff for my new song. Like, um, the album art and all that's the EP art, the EP what the single art, um, and all that stuff. So I'm like, Wah! thanks, Monique. Wow, that must be so nice right now. Justin, what's good? Y'all already have 5,000 likes. That's crazy. When we get to 25,000 likes, though, I know that's gonna be a while, but when we get there, I'm gonna go uh, scare Sam. He's in the bath right now. <laughs> hey, what's good? Yes, Mallory, I'm gonna dance on the stool. If I die, at least y'all will witness. This whole moment. <laughs> eh, eh. <laughs> day 100, y'all. Day, I think it's day 16. I don't know. 
I didn't know it was a Saturday. I was like, oh, okay, <laughs> sure. I won't fall. Don't worry. I'm, I've always been like a, like, I don't know. My friends used to call me a monkey because I would climb trees all the time. <laughs> when I was younger, I would love to just, um, there was this one tree by like the hockey rink that was near my house. And I would always go to the top of it because it was like a pine tree, I think. Like it looks like a giant Christmas tree, basically. Thank you so much. Was that Laura? Wait, Laura. Oh my God, Laura, what have you been doing? <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would climb this pine tree type thing, like a ladder, and it was tall. It was taller than the ice rink building. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It was like my happy place when I was younger. I would just sit up there. Kind of weird. <laughs> I always loved climbing trees. I literally thought it was a personality trait for the longest time. <laughs> Woo, thank you so much, Laura Valerie. I say I love you. Um, thank you. I think this is Seb's hat. I don't know. It was like falling down the cracks of the couch and I was like, oh, I'm gonna put that on. Thank you so much. Um, if y'all haven't seen, I posted on Instagram today. Go check out my story. A little self-care moment, a mood. <laughs> and Seb and I posted a photo show on OnlyFans, so if you're subscribed there, what's good? <laughs> yes. Yes, daddy. We live. I usually wear like my super... I don't know how to explain it. Super shiny necklace. But this one's got a little bling in it. Just a little. Thank you. I'm glad you like it, Guptar. You're pretty. You're pretty. What's y'all's favorite Instagram? Not Instagram. Netflix show to watch right now. Um, I have been trying to find a new show, like, unsuccessfully. Because I, like, binge so hard all the shows that I love. So now I'm like, uh do i do what do i do <laughs> um i kind of want to start watching i forget the name i love you i love you too mallory oh my gosh i hope you're doing well sending you hugs sugar rush Ooh, i miss sugar i feel like ever since this pandemic i've been like eating very healthy <laughs> so covid19 is still active in summer i won't be able to see my girlfriend uh, yeah, they're saying it might, like, be quite um, intense or, like, you know, people staying self-isolated until October. Um, so there goes summer. Like, you can still go out, obviously, but oof, I don't know. We're all in this together. That's what we have to remember. Grey's Anatomy! Oh, my God, yes! Um, Gay's Anatomy. Did anyone watch Drag Race last night? That was everything. I don't want to spoil anything, but... It was intense. Um, I got heated. I got really heated at the TV last night. <laughs> Grey's and Gay's Anatomy. I'm just gonna keep calling it Gay's Anatomy from now on. Uh, the '70s Show. I never watched that. One of my best friends, actually, who I share two tattoos with. These ones. That's okay. So we got this one when we were 17. We went. I was basically just saying she loves that show. But so this one we got. It's like a diamond. Um, when we were 17, and when I was 17, they were 18, and we went to Montreal, and then this one, we got four years later, because we were, me, and there was two of them, two of my best friends, uh, we were still best friends four years later, so, we got another, and we're still best friends, so, it all worked out, oh my god, we're already at 8,000 likes, y'all are amazing, thank you, thank you, Isaiah, thank you, Lauren, Mallory, K25, uh, Karina, <laughs> Jaden, Chris, what's good? Shameless? Oh, yeah. Me and Seb binged all of Shameless. Oh, my God. We're number two in, guys. What's good? Everyone keep liking up. Um, Thank you so much. If anyone wants to send props, just do it. I'm begging, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Send me those props. Because <laughs> uh, we're at level 78. We were at level 77 yesterday. Thank you, Tonya. And um, y'all helped me. Y'all sent me 50 props yesterday, which got us to level 78. So we're almost at level 80 which is what I've been dreaming of for years. Emily, thank you so much. Um, so thank you. Thank you, Sebastian. What's good? Hey, thank you, Gooptar. Love you so much. Um, so yes. What have y'all been doing to keep busy? I was doing a uh, Zoom. It's like people use it to like group FaceTime kind of thing. If you're like in like a class lecture or something. But me and my friends were using it today just to talk and it was the new normal. Mallory, what's going on? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, I kind of look like a snowball right now. 
<laughs> Can someone edit me into a snowball? Hey, don't throw me. I just pictured my head on like, you know, have you ever seen Trixie and Katja's show? Mm, the show where we talk about whatever we want because it's our show and not yours. <laughs> um, well, they do like, they'll like edit their face because um, they're sitting in front of a green screen. So they can like edit their face or their body onto like all these different backgrounds and stuff. And I just pictured my little head like edited, edited in like a, I don't know, some like kid throwing my head as a snowball. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, ooh, origami, that's so pretty. I um learned how to make like swans once. And it was for, I don't know, it was for like, um I think it was first year, no, second year of college. Um, and we had to make like videos, maybe it was first year. Um, so for mine and Seb's with some friends, we did this idea of this person who was blind and they were like writing out what they saw, like in their mind's eye. And then we kind of made all that come to life with origami. It was really cool, really sweet. And, um, yeah. <laughs> so I totally don't remember how to make them, but it was very therapeutic. Ooh, Timothy. Yes. We stand. Um, what's the movie? What's the movie? Oh my God. Ah, call me by your name. Yeah, right? <laughs> I want it. They're making a number two, and I'm like, yeah, I want to see it so bad. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm sorry if I'm lagging. Thank you, Sarah. Y'all, we're almost at 15,000 likes. When we get to 15,000 likes, I will take a vodka shot. I don't know why I just said that. That was a bad idea. <laughs> uh, but at 25,000 likes, I'm going to go either scare Seb, he's in the bathtub, but I think what we'll do is I'll just like go and give him a kiss. <laughs> he's having some self-care time, but I told him that I would come and give him a kiss so that he should wear underwear. I don't know if he, if he <laughs> cared to hear my request. Um, I can only make a swan and fortune teller origami. Ooh, fortune teller. That sounds cool. That sounds like, do you mean like the little glow kind of thing? 13 reasons why. Laura, I would, but... That show, like, I think I watched a couple episodes of Sab, and it was like, you know, that show covers some dark stuff. So maybe not for me. <laughs> Love you. Love you, Ciara. Anna with an E. Anna! <laughs> Anna with an E. Wait, what? What are we talking about? Are we talking about Frozen? <laughs> um, oh, I'm really happy that you're excited for the new song. I'm going to be putting out, like, a bunch of stuff over the next month to do with the new song and maybe even announce when it's going to be released. So if you're happy and excited about that, like just know, I think it's the, my favorite song I've ever made. I'm not just saying that. So I'm really excited for this year. Like this year is like, obviously 2020, <laughs> but I'm holding on to my music and I hope y'all are excited too. Take the smallest paper, make origami. Oh, I used to always make those, um, you know, the dream catcher I think that's not what they're called I'm in such a direction in the technical school that I make swans with towels Ooh. <laughs> thank you curly headed my curls aren't really out to play today partially because I didn't shower today so that's how I'm living right now <laughs> I'm like okay showers who are they I'll probably shower tonight though because I was waiting, because Seb and I were going to do a workout, because we've been, like, staying on task, working out from home every day. But, yeah, we kind of just decided not to. So maybe tomorrow morning? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Gooptai, thank you so much. Y'all send those props. I need to get to level 80 before... Well, now. I'm, I'm ready for it. Are you ready for it? <sighs> Invite your fans, use your free spins, and let's play some truth or dare. Okay, let's do that. If y'all have any truths or dares you want to ask, or just any, like, Q&A questions, um, I'd be down to answer. Let me know. Anna! <laughs> Instead of Anne. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Anna! It's, I just think, like, whenever I see Anne or Anna, I just think of Olaf going, Anna! because <laughs> I look like Olaf right now so it's very spitting yeah <laughs> ah, for different types of banquets what oh we used um napkins for toilet paper <laughs> oh my god uh, heart I'm so sorry that was too much information but, 
Oh yeah, we we're we're really feeling the toilet paper crisis. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you to pretend to tell Seb a secret and lick his ear. Okay, I'll do that when we get to twenty five thousand likes, and I go in the bathroom and give Seb a little kiss. Um, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> You always have socks. That was a really bad talk about, boy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, Tiffany. Ooh, Ooh look who's here. <laughs> Wait, y'all. I gotta get a good angle. Oh, yeah. Look at Tiffany and all her glory. She's a queen. Such a queen. Such a school. Are you trying to say tool? Call me a ranch. A wrench. <laughs> a wrench. <laughs> oh, y'all. Oh, thank you, Carly. Y'all sweet. Who needs toilet paper when you have socks? Uh, oh, oh. Oh! No! That's so gross. I cannot. <laughs> Tanya! I have been sleeping on you. Oh my gosh, Tanya. I love ya, my tater, my one and only, Tanya. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, I how long have I been sleeping on you? I cannot. I'm disgusted with myself. Love you. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing great. Hope you're smiling. Smiling through the madness. Hey, Mallory, thank you so much. Mallory's like, I'm gonna stay pretty up here at number one. And nobody's going to take that from me. And nobody's going to take that from me. <sighs> Nobody. Okay. I'm just going to keep it real with everybody. Going to put it out there. If I went on RuPaul's Drag Race for the acting challenges, I would probably be one of the best. <laughs> <laughs> I used to love acting when I was younger. And I watched the RuPaul's acting challenges. And I'm like, some of y'all need some acting classes. But not really. Like I'm more just like, I want to go on and show what I could do, or just see what I could do. Um, Cause yeah, everyone was saying that one drag queen we don't speak of is killing it this season, which they are, which is tragic because you know, we don't stand of course. But yeah, I'm like, oh, well, I should have been on this season. I could have probably shown them a thing or two, but I just, I don't know if I could have done it in drag, you know? Cause like when they tuck, <laughs> I don't think I could have done that for like more than an hour without being like super bitchy to everybody. You know what I'm saying? Part of my language. <laughs> Are your eyes brown? Um, no, they're hazel. So like usually they look greenish, sometimes bluish. Not really though. Hey, thank you, Laura. Taken back your throne. Laura is taken, taken back her throne. Their throne, your throne, my throne. Who's throne? Laura's throne. Anyone know that song? Da -da -da. Super old, but a goodie. Hey, Mallory, Laura, and Tanya, MLT. Who else would it be but MLT? Love you so much, curly head, curly head, curly head kitty. Cutie, cutie back. I've been listening to Fluid all day. Hey! Oh my god, that's so sweet. Um, yes. Um, Fluid is a bop, but y'all ain't ready for what's coming next. I hope y'all are excited about it because I am really excited. I keep listening to my new song over and over and I'm like, oh my god, I actually really like it. <laughs> like, obviously, when I make music, I like it. But this one, I'm just like really excited about. So that's, that's a good thing. I'm gonna take it as a good thing. I mean, I was always excited about every song I made, to be honest. But this one, I'm like, ooh, whoop, this be hitting different. <laughs> I can't believe you keep reading my comments. Of course, everyone needs to be commenting more. What's good? Tell me your story. Tell me your life story, everyone. Tell me where you're from, why you're from there, how it is, what you're over, what you're loving. Spill the tea. I need to know everything. I like how you dance. What, my TikToks? Eh, eh. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me and my fiancé on TikTok, it's S E B A S D I O N Sebastian. Um, yeah, 
We post there on there usually every day. We kind of slacked the last, we, we didn't post today. But we have a really funny TikTok coming tomorrow. So yeah, I'm getting excited. How to, um, hmm, that's a very hard question, Aura. I'm sending all my love. Love you so much. Um, I think just, you know, self-care, taking it day by day and seeking help if you need it. You know, I love you. Taters, we're all here for you. When are you going to prank Seb again? Oh, um, what? I'm gonna pretend I'm telling him a secret and I'll lick his ear when we get to 25,000 likes after he's licked his ear. Um, ooh, that's juicy. You're in love with your best friend's ex and you don't know what to do. Okay, Mallory, so what we need to do, let's think. Um, so you have this friend and then this friend has an ex and you're in love with them. Oh shit, but it's your best friend. Oof. That's a hard one. I would just maybe that's a hard one. It's your choice. You know, you have to figure out what's your priority here. This friend or this person. How long have you been in love? You know, you gotta see, you gotta play it out. Like you don't wanna risk your friendship over something that's fresh and might just like all come crumbling down in two days. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cheesecake, love you. Um, I cannot read that word because I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting my nephews. Oh, that sounds fun. That sounds relaxing. You know, hope you're playing some Mario Kart or something. It's nearly my birth. Oh my God. See, I was like really hyped about my birthday. But now everything that's gone on in the world, I don't know. The hype kind of left. So yeah, it's like Merp. <laughs> I need, I have a couple days though to figure it out. So. I don't know. I still want to like have a good day, you know, make it positive. Don't let this virus get to me. Yeah, I mean like sisters before misters. Yeah, exactly. I agree. Friends, friends matter, you know, friends are like family. So it just depends on who the friend is to you and stuff like that. Don't be scared, Teddy. Honestly, take it day by day. You have all the time in the world to find yourself and yeah, just take it day by day and don't be scared because, you know, who you are is valid and beautiful and we're all here for you. I don't think I'd ever pick a boy over friends. Yeah, not worth it. I've had friends who picked their boy over me and I was like, okay, <laughs> bye. And yeah, those people never lasted because if you have a true friend, they should be able to make time for the person they love and you, you know what I'm saying? One of my friends isn't talking to me because he has a boyfriend. Um, I'm just going to read it as you, okay? One of my friends isn't talking to me because he has a boyfriend and lied and said he's dating me to cover it up. I just want to talk to him, but he won't. <laughs> okay, now I have to read that and actually understand what you're saying. One of my friends is talking to me because he has a boyfriend. Okay. And lied and said he's dating me to cover it up. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm actually confused. Uh, so you have one of your friends isn't talking to you because they have a boyfriend. Okay, right. And who said they're dating you, and why? That's what I, that's what gets me lost. <laughs> I'm I'm like hi, I'm with stupid. <laughs> Everyone go follow Diani's an angel. Oh, Tiffany, yes, you're standing the crowd right now. I support your your message. One of my friends, okay, I read it already, but I still don't understand. <laughs> um, comment one, if you can see me, comment two, if you can't, because I am here. One, you can see me, okay. Yay, good, that's fresh. Oh, y'all, I made some really good taters earlier. I made taters with um, some vegan chicken and then like we have this vegan gravy that we saved from like this vegan turkey. <laughs> so yeah, it was basically a delicious tater moment. Oh, daddy, I love you. Thank you so much. I hope you're doing the best. Read the word, read the word. You, I, it better not be a bad word, okay? If it's a bad word, that's not on me. I did not consent to saying a bad word. You, why, them? Something like that? You wild feel? I don't know. <laughs> it was delicious. But Seb and I, uh, I kind of undercooked, you know? Like, I didn't make enough. So we were like, oh, 
let's order burritos. <laughs> uh, then we ordered burritos. So I love me a good burrito. Oh, thank you, Laura. There'll be so many exciting videos coming. I hope you all are ready for it. I have a lot of stuff planned because um, now I am almost done school. So I really have the time to do the things I've been wanting to do for the past forever. So because like, okay, so ever since two years ago, school started, right? And school started in 2018. And then all that summer we had school. And then 2019 to now. So for over like two years, Seb and I have been nonstop in school. <laughs> and I cannot, I don't think you understand like how excited I am for that to change because I've been posting way less on YouTube and you know, like I've been still like making music, which I'm proud of that I was able to prioritize that. And I have been prioritizing like going live and posting as much as I can, but there's so much more I want to do with like my creativity. So I really can't, I can really can't not wait. <laughs> I wish more people could be as creative as you. Oh, I feel like everyone's creative, you know? Like, we all have our things. That's that's the thing. We all have our shining star. Hey, Rance, what's good? How are you? Your way, your wheeze. <laughs> ah, I think that's why I um, gravitate and connect so strongly with Trixie Mattel, because I feel like we both have a wheeze, and it's just, like, same humor or something. I don't know. <laughs> This quarantine has me lazy as fuck. Uh, I've been trying to stay proactive, like getting those muscles and stuff. But, you know. <laughs> Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Adeline. Um, yeah, all you gotta do is look up on YouTube, like what kind of workout you wanna do, whether upper body, lower body, abs, legs, yoga, it, stretching. Stretching's important. Um, yeah, and even if it's just 20 minutes of the day, it really does help you. Because, like, once you push yourself to do that, I find then you can push yourself to do other things, like essays, homework, um, research, job applications, whatever you want. <laughs> and dancing like fluid, we do it, we don't even know how, 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 how. And don't say take it or leave it, you're the one for right now. That was a little random, but somebody's co commented fluid, so. <laughs> okay, Mallory, you're beautiful. Come on, don't say that. You're gorgeous. You're gorgeous. Fluid live, everything I've wanted. <laughs> we might just move it to the rhythm of the night. Uh, I can make it sound better, but y'all, girl, no, that's not the sound. <laughs> ah, love you, Mallory. Thank you so much. Jumping ropes and hula hoops. Ooh, we love to see it. We love to see it. Um, I used to do jump. Okay, when was it? I think grade six. <laughs> I was in a jump rope competition. Um, it was basically. <laughs> I don't know, but I got so competitive. Like, I'm really competitive. I used to be really competitive in, like, um, theater. I used to be very competitive in track and field. Um, so I guess that transferred to my grade six jumping rope competition. They literally, in our gymnasium, had all the grades. Just, just jump rope for as long as you could. And then the last person standing won. It was, like, this huge, intense thing. It went on, like, all day. And I won. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was that. <laughs> I was jumping rope for hours. <laughs> I just still to this day I don't know what that was. <laughs> but maybe it was for like, you know, like charity or like some sort of active, live active motive, motivational event. I don't I don't know. <sighs> Vocals, yes, Rans. Um, so funny. What a story. <laughs> Exercise regular, yes. You don't sound like a dying animal. Singing is about practice. You know, like some days I sound like a dying goat. <laughs> some days I sound really good. Some days I sound like a dying goat. You just, you, it's about like, it's really about training your voice. And, and also like, it's like self-discovery, you know? It's like trying to find what, what works for you, I guess. Or maybe some people just like, um, 
it's not for them. But you know, there's not things for everyone, and then there's things for everyone. Um, I just really like singing, so even if I'm not good at it, I was always gonna do it, and I'll keep on doing it. <laughs> Natalie, thank you so much. Thank you. I wanted to explode. Explode on me. Blow up. Natalie, oh my God, I think you just snatched the number two throne. Thank you. I really hope you're having the best day, Nat. Um, sorry if you don't like me calling you Nat. I have a really good friend called Natalie, and I always called her Nat, and she hated it. Then I would call her Nutella, and I don't think she liked that either. <laughs> but love you, Natalie. One second, my baby boy. If y'all can't hear Mocha growling in the background, or you think it's like a monster, it's just my Pomsky. Um, I did that in fourth grade. Okay, so I'm not the only one. That's good. Come say hi if you want to be a little annoying pooper. I'm kidding, you never annoy me, baby. Y'all don't understand how much I love this guy. I was telling him yesterday, I was doing stretches on the floor, and I was like, you? You can never go anywhere, okay? Because I love you. I love you too much. Emily, thank you. Oh, love you, Ciara. You're talking about my dog, though, right? He's the cutie. Aren't you the cutie, baby? Oh, come here. Aren't you the cutie? What's the cutie, baby? Let's go, my cutie, baby. I love him. He brings me so much joy, y'all. Oh, sorry, baby. Go there. There you go. You go there. Oh. <sighs> He's like, what are you doing to me? <laughs> ah, there you go. Um, let's see, what do y'all say? I gotta scroll down, sorry. I love your lives because they make me laugh. Hey, that's what I'm here for. I hope y'all are doing well. I know it's like really hard times for everyone. Um, but you know, let's do this, ready? Sun. <laughs> I'm watching too much of Glee. I was gonna start saying, times in our lives. Oh, sorry, babe. I just called my dog a babe. <laughs> Sorry, Blokies, are you okay? Oh. Y'all, I'm losing it. Quarantine got me wow. We all have pain. <laughs> What's been your favorite role you've done? Um, but the favorite role... Let me think. I'm trying to decide which one was my fave. Because I did this one, right? And I had to pretend. Uh, I was a like escaped convict from jail and it was kind of like all these different people from different backgrounds of life who had come into limbo maybe it was called limbo I don't know it was like a short play I think it was only like half an hour or something I can't remember but I played this escaped convict who like didn't know where he was in limbo he was freaking out and then all of a sudden he gets dragged to hell I had to physically drag myself off the stage by a ghost that wasn't there it was me i had to literally make my body look like my legs were being pulled by an invisible entity <laughs> off of the stage so i did it and i slayed at every single rehearsal tanya thank you so much tanya i see you up here oh my gosh tanya i love you um let me continue my story in a moment tanya this is what dreams are made of. Tanya T. We stand. Love you. Thank you so much. Oh my God, we're almost at 25,000. Okay, y'all, if you're new here, share this with your fans, use your free spins, send me those props, like up, because when we get to 25,000 likes, I'm going to go give Seth like a little prank. I'm going to whisper in his ear a secret, but actually lick his ear and then kiss him. <laughs> okay, so back to my story. Um, I need a napkin one sec, y'all. <sighs> okay, where were we? So, um, I slayed it. Like, every rehearsal, I destroyed the stage with my abilities to make myself look like a devil was dragging me off of the stage. <laughs> so then, we get to the final performance. And it wasn't at my school. I don't know where it was. I don't know why we went to another school to perform this. I think it, oh yeah, it was a competition, like against other schools and the best play won. Don't think we won. <laughs> no, the day of our presentation, our performance, um, the lighting guy messed up a bunch of stuff. Like lights were not working. So all our dramatic stuff, me being dragged off the stage and this red light on me and all this glory, <laughs> didn't work. 
Um, hey, Emily, what's good? So, so yeah, basically we get there, tensions are high. It's like a glee moment, literally. We're against these other schools. We're going down because our lighting box is blown up. <laughs> and I'm here ready to be dragged by the devil. Whipped off the stage in my jail outfit after, cause like I had a gun and I was like holding this fake gun, obviously. And I was holding it at this real estate agent she was venting about her life problems in limbo and I was freaking out about mine. And then she's like, blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, ah, so I put the gun down. Obviously I wasn't a shooter. I just had some internal issues going on. And then I got ripped off the stage by the devil. So I'm on the stage and this is a stage I've never, never rehearsed on before. It's not like the wooden stage that we have in our high school. Um, it's a stage made out of like this rubbery kind of texture, super frictiony, like friction times a hundred. So imagine having to slide yourself off the stage, pretending the devil is dragging you off the stage, but it's all you, just acting. And you've been practicing on slide, sliding wood, easy peasy, right? Like beautiful. I thought I was the next, the next um, actor. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I was gonna say, I forget her name, what's her name? What's her name? From Mamma Mia, I love her. What's her name? Why am I blanking? So um, I go on the stage and I have to drag myself against this rubber and I'm wearing this whole bodysuit and I'm just like this on the stage, not moving, <laughs> not going anywhere. <laughs> like in order to move myself, my pants had to roll up my legs and I had to physically shove myself off of that stage. I did it. I don't know if it looks good. <laughs> oh, but it's like still to this day, I'm like that happened. So that probably has to be one of my favorite roles just for that experience. <laughs> Ah. Um, so yeah, forever and always. <laughs> I also loved, um, I was a chimney sweep once. So it was like a Scrooge play, like the, um, three ghosts or whatever that movie's called. Y'all know what I'm talking about. The ghosts come and hunt Scrooge or whatever. So I played Scrooge as a young boy. And I also played a chimney sweeper, which is basically back in the day, someone who like would clean chimneys all around the streets for money, whatever, I don't know, that kind of thing, happened probably in like the Great Depression or whatever, so I was one of these people, and I got this cool chimney sweep, and I was obsessed with it, <laughs> like, it was, um, yeah, not like a major role, but I had a lot of good dancing and singing to do, so it was fun, a Christmas carol, yeah, yeah, that was fun, and I was, I was two parts in that one, so I liked that, I think maybe I was three parts, but the other role would have been like really tiny, my, oh, I convinced my brother to play one of the ghosts, one of these creepy, creepy like, child ghosts, because my brother used to be, like, super tiny. Like, he took a long time to, like, hit any sort of ghost spurt, so. And it was so cute. <laughs> it was the best thing ever. <laughs> ah. The M word? The theater word? Huh. What's that? <laughs> what did I say? I'm like, did I say something bad? What? Deanna said we're amazing. You're amazing! Thank you so much. The only play I ever did was Allison. Oh, that would have been that would have been fun. That would have been the Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter with this hat and this coat. I look just like Saint Nick. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Thank you, Naomi. For the likes. Your beanie reminds me of the time you cheated while doing a pillow fight with Seb. <laughs> yeah, when I had it over my eyes. <laughs> what a day! That was fun. Okay, y'all, we're almost at 25,000 likes. And when we get there, I'm gonna go um, give Seb a little kiss. He's in the bath right now. And I'm gonna talk to him in his ear and tell him like a secret. But actually just like his ear. I don't think he can hear me because he's watching something. The only play I was ever in was in first grade. We did The Hungry, oh my God, The Hungry Caterpillar. I used to love that book when I was, you were cheese? <laughs> Cheesecake, is that why your name is Cheesecake? <laughs> uh, maybe a 24 hour broadcast in the future. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe I'll learn my all my songs on guitar and then we can have a little like jam session or something. You might want to check that one pic you posted on Instagram. Ooh. I, I mean, I, I said what I said. <laughs> I said what I said and I meant what I said. 
And I'm wearing underwear in that photo. <laughs> so. But you can only pay like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I remember reading that book as a kid in grade school. Oh, yeah, I, I read a lot of weird stuff <laughs> when I was younger. <laughs> like, I remember this one about like the mouse and the, the words on the page were like really colorful and like different fonts. Did anybody, anyone know what I'm talking about? Susical the musical, yeah, that's the best one. I was the mayor of Whoville. I wanted to be Horton, but they didn't cast me as Horton which was really depressing. I was so sad about that. I was like, but I can do it. Uh, back in the day, I was maybe not prepared for the role. I think I was. I think I was more than prepared for the role. But whatever, we're not going to be salty about it. <laughs> I mean, we did that at our school. Horton is so cool. I know, I love Horton. Notice me, Horton. The way I notice you. <laughs> That's Gertrude McFuzz's role. She was an icon. Even the girl who played Gertrude slayed it at my school. Oh my God. Yes, Tina was good. Tina, how you doing? My friend calls her stomach Tina the talking tummy. <laughs> That's true. That's a true story. <sighs> Notice me, Horton, put down the clover. This is your next door neighbor calling. There's a new leaf your neighbors turned over, over and over, clover by clover. I was just a young boy only yesterday. Y'all wouldn't get it if you didn't see that musical. <laughs> Ah. Please sing Eileen in the universe from Susical. Sing alone. Oh, okay. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I thought you said I like. I thought you were talking about. Come on, Eileen. I'm like, what? <laughs> Wait, let me get into character, <clears throat> and let me remember the melody. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, <laughs> the vibrato, me dying. <laughs> 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 Okay, let's see. I can't remember if I can even sing it. I'm a... Wait, it's kind of high. <laughs> I'm alone in the universe. So alone in the universe. Do, do. Oh. I found magic, but they won't see it. Because I have wings, yes, I can fly around the moon or far beyond the sky. And someday soon, I know that you'll be. Uh, da, 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 da. <laughs> so alone in the universe. Oh, oh, I know. I, I don't remember the lyric. Who believes in me? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's been like literally over 10 years. <laughs> One sec. Had to let my dog out. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You're all so sweet. <laughs> Why are y'all being so nice? <laughs> Stop it! Small voice in the universe wants your friend. Oh. Once, one, <clears throat> one small voice in the universe. One true friend in the universe who believes in me. <laughs> ah, that's such a throwback y'all I'm gonna cry it's been too long why is it 2020 I sang that song over 10 years ago like I didn't sing it it wasn't my part it was Jojo's part and she slayed it um if you want me to sing into the unknown it'll sound like I'm dying <laughs> I can sing it like an octave lower like into the unknown into the unknown That was not my best attempt, but I would definitely have to practice that one. 
she oh, Idina Idina Menzel Idina Men, Idina Menzel what what did um they call that guy call her <laughs> idea it was it's Idina Menzel and he called her I don't know what it was <laughs> John Travolta that was so bad ah. that whole like melody was stuck in my head after the movie for like days. Ah. <laughs> Mr. May, Mrs. Mayhu, I played your wife in a different cast. Oh my God! Yes. Where? Who's here? We are. Who's here? Smaller than the eye can see. It's true, sir. We are. Who's here? I'm a who, and so are we. There's tiny little people floating around in the air, wondering how and why. Here on who <laughs> the tiniest planet in the sky. Ah, uh, ooh, 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 I'm a mayor. Ah, <laughs> uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. That's when you say, I'm his wife. Um, do any of your other siblings sing? I have a theory. So my younger brother doesn't like actively sing like as obnoxiously as me as me, but <laughs> he sings, I think. Like I've heard him sing in the shower and I'm like, oh girl, I think you got a little bit of a voice there. I can't tell, but maybe. Uh, my sister also likes to sing, and she's pretty good, so. My mom also sings really well, actually. Like, they all just do it, like, in passing, but not, like, as me, where I like to, like, do it all the time, because it's something that I find very enjoyable. <laughs> uh, can Georgia sing? Georgia, yeah, she's good. I, one day, maybe, maybe if Georgia, you know, grows into her voice, but I don't mean, like, she has a bad voice. I mean, like, as as I got older, as I get older, because I like want to be better at singing, I like learn, I guess. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. So if she like did the same thing, like you kind of have to like find your voice before you can like go into the studio and make a song, you know. And she's never really done any like singing role or anything. So but I think like if she wanted to like try and she was like, okay, this is my vibe, this is what I'm going for, and she went for it, we could make a bop. <laughs> That'd be cool. Do you have a favorite song to sing? Um, hmm. One sec, let me let Mocha inside. I think my favorite song, that's a really hard question. Like that's the hardest question ever. <laughs> you can't ask me that. There's so many good songs, um, but I like, uh, pardon me, I just burped. <laughs> I just went like that, as if like I had to fan it away from y'all, like you would smell it. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was so gross. Um, I know, of course, Rachel's Mom and Glee is I Do Want to Sell, yes. I love that one. <clears throat> I'm not good at it, but. I wanna, no. I wanna roll with him, a hard pair we will be. A little gambling, it's fun when you're with me. Russian roulette is not the same without a gun. And baby, see, I have to drop an octave. And baby, if it's love, if it ain't rough, it isn't fun. Oh, uh oh, 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 uh oh, oh, I'll get him hot and show him what I got. Oh. Uh, oh, 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 I'll get him high and show him what I got. <laughs> and just like a chick in a casino and take this hand before I pay you out. I promise this, I promise this, check this hand, cause I am marvelous. I'm marvelous, I am marvelous, I'm marvelous, so marvelous. <laughs> uh, yeah, an experience. Mm. Ow, somebody come give me a back massage. Have you heard Conan Gray's new album? Of course, Wish You Were Sober. It was like so cool how Taylor Swift put it on her Instagram. I'm like, oh my God. So good. I love to sing Dua Lipa. Oh, Dua Lipa is so good. Her new album. Um, I can't honestly pick a fave. Like, they're all so good. I love. Uh, yep. Nope. Can't pick a fave. <laughs> they're all so good. Thank you, Kenna. 
Thank you so much, Tiffany. Okay, y'all. We did not make it to 25,000 likes. I don't even know if he's in the bath anymore. We gotta do this. Let's get 25,000 likes so I can do this little prank, y'all. Then I'll probably go, but let's do it. We got this. Everyone in my family has, has beautiful singing voices, but I'm the odd one with a terrible voice. Aw, you're so beautiful. <laughs> we love you. I bet you sing like all the birds love, love your singing, you know? You like Cinderella. Or was it Cinderella? Who had the birds sing to her? I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Batty. Don't judge me too harshly on a Rachel Riley. Rachel Riley? <laughs> a Rachel Berry song, though, because <gasps> Leah Michelle has vocal cords of a god, and I don't. Um, but yeah, certainly not that. Oh, I love this song. I used to sing this on auditions all the time. Wait, which one am I going to do? There was two by the same artist. Um, I can't remember the one. Let me see. What was it? Oh, what's the song? Name, if you guys know Jason Mraz's songs, I think it was by Jason Mraz. Name his songs. But it's not, oh, I won't hesitate. That was the other one, but I want to sing the other one. Does anyone know what the other one is? <laughs> he has a lot of songs, so that's not very helpful. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe if I just search his name. Oh, okay. I got it. When I look into your eyes. Name the song. It's like watching the night sky or a beautiful sunrise. Well, there's so much they hold. And just like them old stars, yeah, I see that you come so far to be right where you are. Yes, Emily. <laughs> yes, Kenna. And how old is your soul? And I won't give up on us. Thank you, Sarah Richards. <laughs> I'm giving you all my love. I'm still looking up. <laughs> I don't think those are the right notes at the end. And when you're needing your space, nothing breaks like a heart. Yes, Miley. I love Miley. Miley needs to drop more music. Miley came out with an e EP um, in the summer, and I was obsessed, but I need more. I would like more, please. Give me more. Ah, hey, baby. Wait, can I tell you a secret? Maybe. <laughs> Am I going to tell it to your mouth? <laughs> You grow. <laughs> ah, I did it, y'all. <laughs> they oh, they wanted me to do it. <laughs> you taste like a um, perfume. Yeah, I had nice perfume on. <laughs> Jokes on you, dumbass. Oh, I don't even have to try and seem sad. Wins. <laughs> what can I say? Hi, bitch. <laughs> Mallory, I am mad at you. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do without a haircut all this time, but somebody's going to suffer. Oh, this is my broadcast now. You want a massage? Oh, yes, please. Can you actually give me a massage today? Mm -hmm. I'm giving you one right now! No, but like with lotion and like... Yes. The works. Because you make me a grilled cheese. Oh, we don't have we bread. We don't have bread. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, my God. Right in there. I'm gonna go live tomorrow, y'all. So y'all better come hang out. Oh, today was just since it was so gloomy outside. I know it makes me feel like it's a lazy Sunday. Yeah, like when it's like sunny outside, I don't care being inside because it's like motivating me. Dion, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> my name is my fiance, <laughs> the beautiful one and only Sparko. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. Okay. Um Move, bitch! <laughs> get out the way. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea my things. <laughs> my wild arms in there. They have their mind, their mind of their own. <laughs> Don't catch a cold, Seb. Ooh, Sebby. Yeah. Come here. 
Thank you, Ron. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Oh, wow. What's he doing? Are you going somewhere? To the room. Okay. <laughs> He's going to the room, y'all. <laughs> sit on my lap. I, I, I don't really, mind. I can't believe how organized the den is. I know. Sebby cleaned the whole office today. Yes, Ron, you're very late to the party. How are you doing? <laughs> Love you, Ron. It was one of my Did you have a good day? goals to organize the den. My quarantine goal is to just... <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm going to make the I'm bed. I'm so good at New Year's resolutions. I'm going to go make the bed. I love you. Love you. Have a fun love time. Love <laughs> He's going to go make the bed. What? <laughs> Since when? <laughs> Yo, are you kidding? Like, who is that? I make the bed every day. Who is that? <laughs> who is that? <laughs> I could do that over and over again for 10 years. <laughs> Seb's so looking good in his glasses. Ooh, Tanya's coming for my man. Tanya, square up. Let's go. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, y'all. Everyone, let's have a vote. Can you see my nipples? Of course you can. Are they at a good location? Because sometimes I feel like they're too low. <laughs> <laughs> We're 77 in top broadcasters. So I'm going to stay on here and celebrate with y'all. What's good? Um, yeah, I feel like they could be like a centimeter higher, but who cares? Who cares a nipple? Nipples? Yeah. This one tells me the weather. There's a 45% chance it's hailing outside. <laughs> My dream show is 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee. Okay. Don't know what that is, but if you're good at spelling, sounds like a good time. <laughs> sounds like a party. A party for two. Eh. Invite nobody. Nobody but you and you. Woo. Um, so Seb used to make fun of me for loving Shania Twain. He was like, ew, Shania Twain is not good. No. I and I was like, how do you that. not? Deanna, how do you not? Deanna just said it was like, because I feel like Shania Twain is kind Go of on. like a... Explain. We're waiting. <laughs> kind of like... Ron like Shania. Be more like Ron. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I never heard someone that stamped Shania before I met you. That's where I was like, that's it. I was like, how did you not, as a young gay, go, man, I feel like a woman. I thought, I thought, well, didn't I think I sang that song? I thought it was Ron, like, yeah. Call the doctor. I used to think that was like Britney Spears or something. What? The one that you thought, I feel like a woman was by Britney Spears? Yeah. Ron, oh man, I feel like a woman. Thank you. Thank you. I can't talk to Seb anymore. I think we have to get a... I was about to say divorce, but we're not married. <laughs> um, baby, I'm gonna have to have to ask you to pray for forgiveness. Yeah. Britney Spears. Britney Spears could never. Britney Spears would be like, man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> I mean, I do love Britney, but no. You know what I'm saying? It just doesn't, it's not the same. Let's rock this country or boots. Um, whose bed have your boots been under? And whose heart did you steal? I wonder. And this time, did it feel like thunder, baby? But whose bed have your boots been under? Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> One zero three zero five. You're fucking hilarious. <laughs> Still the one. Oh, what's the one? Uh, no. Um, uh, uh, oh, I'm totally crazy. That's I feel like a woman. No, what's the one? It's like up. I'm going, I'm going up or something. I'm going up, up, up. Yeah, that's it. And up where the clouds gonna clear up, up. Yes. <laughs> Do you like K-pop? Um, yeah, of course. Why not? I mean, I need to listen to more K-pop, admittedly, but. No, I don't dislike it. Oh yeah, I love Blackpink. And I also love Blackbird singing in the dead of night. <laughs> I told you, I've been watching too much Glee. You gotta stop me. <laughs> you gotta stop. Cut it out. Three, six, nine girls want to drink wine. Tell the man not to waste your time. Huh. Mallory, what's good? How you doing? How's you doing? Uh-oh, Tanya's coming after Seb's man. I know. Tanya's creeping up to number one, and Tanya's trying to latch onto my back to get my man. So we're going to have to ask Tanya to leave. We're going to stop Tanya. We're going to stop Tanya to leave. We're going to have to ask a serious, have a serious 
conversation with Tanya. How did Seb react? Because I missed it. Um, well, I kind of got the joke was on me because if y'all are just getting here, some lovely taters told me to pretend to tell a secret in Seb's ear and then lick it. Well, I did. He thought it was gross. I thought it was more gross because he had night cream on his ear, I guess. And I tasted it. I licked his cheek and it didn't taste good. It didn't taste good at all. I'm still kind of recovering. I have this side of my mouth, some kind of weird taste coming out of my salivary gland. I'm hoping I'm okay. <laughs> um, what are y'all's favorite songs? If you had to pick. I also love... Um, thought I found a way, thought I found a way out. Lonely by Billie Eilish and Everything I Wanted by Billie Eilish. And everything I wanted. I also like Zanny. Um, I forget how Zanny goes, but I love Zanny. It's a good song. Billy is a queen, of course. Thought I found a way out high. And Khalid, he's duets in that song. He's so good. Like, wow, such a good voice. Oh, I love you, Naomi. <sighs> Heartbreak kid. Is he breaking the hearts of millions all the time? Only time will tell. <laughs> You're breaking the hearts of millions. Or just mine. I forgot, I forgot the lyric. <laughs> My favorite song of all time is Easy by the Commodores. I love the smooth blues jazz sound of that song. Easy by the Commodores. Ooh, I'm going to play it. I have not heard. Let's see, Ron. Let's see if you have good taste. Now is the time where we are going to judge you and your taste. I'm kidding. Um... Ooh, I think I like it already. Each morning I wake up, I die low. I can barely stand on my feet. <laughs> I like it. This could this could sing me to sleep. Seems to me, girl, yeah, yeah. Woo! Taylor Dew at Disney, yes. And Glee. Glee songs are good. Oh, wait. Is this not the right one? Ron, is this not the right one? Mm, like a Sunday morning. Dion dancing OMG, that reminds me of that prank where Seth pretended to cheat on you and just you dance. <laughs> it's the right one, okay. I love depressing December, yay! Oh, that's so sweet. He listened to that Lyle Richie, I love that song. Yeah, it's so good. I'm gonna keep playing it actually. Y'all can request songs. We can have a jam. Wait, should we listen to some of Dua's songs? Okay. My phone's at 1%, so we're going to have that amount of time to listen to Dua. Hmm. One sec. I think i got to play it from Spotify. Wish You Were Sober. Okay, let me play Wish You Were Sober. Because I love you so much, but I wish you were sober. Oh, it's not going to play for me. Okay. So good. Okay, sounds good, Mallory. I got you. How tall are you, Seb? Uh, I'm 6'1", Seb's 5'4". I'm kidding. He's 5'10 and a half. I think. Yeah. I want to play my song for y'all. I'm so excited. <laughs> Woo! Eh, eh. I want you sober, but I wish you were sober. Eh, eh, eh. 
Hey, hey. Get your hands in the air, people. I want to see you at home. I want to see you at home living that best quarantine life. Okay. I feel it. I feel the energy, y'all. Hands in the air. Keep it going. Okay. Woo! Woo! Now what we're going to do, we're going to go two to the left, two to the right. We're going to go like this. Woo! Woo! Okay. Woo! Woo! Feel it. Okay. And then we're going to go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Back and forth, back and forth. Hey, hey, here we go. One, two, one, two, stand. Turn. Hey, okay, you got that? We're gonna go. One, two, one, two, three, turn. But I wish you were sober. Hey. Woo! Yes, that's me, Ron. <laughs> I gotta remember my TikTok moves. I don't, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> oh, that was one of them. Let me have a look. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Ron, you snatched the crown. Sorry. We had a good time with you, Natalie. <laughs> You're real sweet, but I wish you were sober. Ooh, what was that? I don't know. Thank you, Ron. Oh, my gosh. Love you. It's 10 years old. We didn't ask for your advertisement. <laughs> Ron, love you. Thank you so much. And Tonya. We love Tonya in this tater kingdom. Moderator, offensive comments or any other form of harassment. Blah, 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 blah. Who said something inappropriate? Throw it back. <laughs> was that what was inappropriate? <laughs> I'm kidding. Probably not. Um, yeah, I'll get better at my TikTok moves, y'all. <laughs> that was a good little dance. That, that lifted my spirits. Oh, I hope it lifted yours too. <laughs> um, who said anything offensive? Yeah, I don't think anyone did. I think it's just maybe the algorithm that like reads the messages messed up. So we're still good. We are a safe community. <laughs> Susical, yes. The mods are going overboard. Do they do it often now? Uh, I like how that song lasted the whole 1%. My phone stands going gray. So do I. Let me tell you a story about a boy and a girl. It's kind of short, kind of boring. But the end is a world. No, they were both 16 when the people were mean, but they didn't love themselves. And now they're gone. Headstones on a lawn. And when I was younger, I knew a boy and a boy, the best friends with each other. They always wish they were more. Mm, cause they loved one another, but never discovered. Cause they were too afraid of what they say. Move to different states. Oh, and I'm afraid that's just the way the world works. Nah, it ain't funny. It ain't pretty, it ain't sweet. Oh, and I'm afraid that's just the way the world works. Yeah, but I think that it could work for you and me. And just wait and see. That's not the end of the story. <laughs> ah. So they said on Dan Hill's stream, told him to put a shirt on, even though he's 24 and meets the age guidelines. Yeah, what? I had a shirt off on my broadcast yesterday. I don't think it was a big problem. My house was warm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm 24 too in six days. <laughs> Wait, the fake crying is coming. Let's keep going. <laughs> We got a real tear, y'all. 
We got a real tear. <laughs> oh my god. You should listen to the song The Loneliest Girl by Curly and Tuesday. Okay? I never heard it. You should sing more often. Thank you. I can't wait for y'all to hear my new song. I really can't. I wish I could play it right now, but honestly, I'm not going to do that. I wish I could, though. I really do. I'm going to cry. I'm so excited. Real sweet, but I wish you were sober. You a young one, forever young. Forever, forever young. I want to be forever young. Do you really want to live forever? And forever, and forever young, you're yeah, forever young. I'm gonna shavering you. Is that what you think I was doing? <laughs> Rongo, I nearly noticed you were improperly packaged, my dear. Max, confess me a bow. Could I use your finger for a second? <laughs> New song, can't wait. I know. Did you watch the wine wine aholic YouTuber? No. <laughs> I need to. I've seen the one who eats like a bunch of edibles and does like all the makeup for tutorials. <laughs> Wild. We wilded y'all. Major, that's so sweet. What's so sweet? The Grinch impression? I could do it way better. <laughs> if that's what you're talking about. Uh I could do it way better. I'm obsessed. <laughs> uh I don't want to do that, Mallory. Like no. I would feel bad. You know, just kicked me out and I missed the Grinch impression. Oh, I'll do it again. One second. One second. <laughs> That's my finger going against the, the window and she's like, Thank you for saving me. Shaving you? Is that what you think I was doing? Rongo, I merely noticed you were properly packaged, my dear. <laughs> I lost it that time. <laughs> Can I use your finger for a second? <laughs> Max, fetch me a bow. I said nine quarters, not nine eighths. Focus. <laughs> no, I love it when it says, <gasps> brilliant. You reject your own nose because it represents the glitter of commercialism. Why didn't I think of that? Cut, print, check the gate. I'm done. <laughs> yeah, Mocha. I know. I know. Mocha is, Mocha is the max to my Grinch. And I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. <laughs> my favorite is dinner with myself. I can't cancel. Oh. 6 p.m. or is it 5 30? I don't know. 5 5 30. Dinner with myself. I can't cancel that again. <laughs> um I'm wallowing wallowing pity self-loathing. I'm booked. But if I blah 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 blah, I can blah 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 blah. I can't remember all the words. <laughs> uh, um yeah. Fun times. Very fun times. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch, you really are a heel. You're as one second, I forget the lyrics. <laughs> Mr. Grinch. Let me pull it up in another window. And then one sec so I can still see y'all. It's too bad Jim Carrey and Robin Williams never did a movie together. Oh, that would have been literally incredible. Like, I still think that they need to make a Grinch number two with Jim Carrey. I also want them to make a Grinch like prequel where they show the baby that the Grinch hit out of the way when he was floating down and that baby um, got hit and went to Grinch land and there's like all these Grinches and only one Who baby and then the Who baby has to teach them all how to love Christmas. Yes, I know. I should be a screenwrite player. Is that what's going <laughs> You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> you really are a heel. You're as cuddly as a cactus. You're as charming as an eel, Mr. Grinch. You're a bad banana with a greasy black peel. Ba -da 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 -da. Given the choice between you, given the choice between the two of you, I'd take the sissy crocodile. <laughs> 
you have termites in your smile. Ew, that part's so gross. Like all the bugs. Speak it up. Stink. Stank. Stunk. <laughs> yep, that was it. That was crazy. That was fun. That was wild. Thank you, Ali. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, curly headed cutie what are you doing to me the lyrics are so weird I know I love you have all the tender sweetness of a CC crocodile Mr. Grinch given the choice between you I choose a CC crocodile <laughs> where are you Christmas why can't I find you? Why have you gone away? And my world is changing. I'm rearranging. Does that mean Christmas changes too? <laughs> <laughs> Give me the Oscar. <laughs> Hi to my friend Julia. Hey Julia. Hope Brazil's keeping you company, treating you right. Love you. <laughs> oh, I love the green hearts. I like green hearts because they make me think of like a healthy earth, which we don't have. <laughs> Any of Shane Dawson's Christmas music? Oh my god, I used to love the one that he did. I can't remember what it was. He had like the love interest with the girl. I can't remember what it was like called or anything, but I used to love that bop. Uh, if you're happy and you know it. <laughs> okay, y'all, I think I'm gonna go. It's getting late. Um, this has been really fun. I will definitely be back on here tomorrow. And yeah, I love y'all. Thank you for hanging out. It's been really fun and you know, just jamming along with me and my crazy self. I hope you all stay safe and are staying positive and you know, I'm, oh yeah, I'm posting a video tomorrow. So 3.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you on YouTube. Um, I just posted some cute stuff on OnlyFans and Instagram. Go check out my Instagram for any of that stuff. And yeah, I love you all so much. Have the best time of your life. Stay smiling and we'll talk soon. Bye, taters. <laughs>